Hello and welcome to Home Ownership Section 1, Lesson 1. Today you will answer questions about the meaning of the word home and how home ownership is related to the American dream. You will also view the video, The Rise of Suburban Areas During the 1950s, and explain how this video shows the relationship between home and the American dream. Before we get too involved in this unit, let's look at our culminating writing task for this unit. Through reading of the unit text and additional research, you will develop an argument in response to the unit question. Is the dream of home ownership viable for all Americans within a more focused subtopic area? Using information from your reading, develop an argumentative thesis supported by a series of evidence-based claims, including at least one counter-argument to an opposing perspective or position. Organize your thesis, claims, and evidence into a unified, coherent, well-reasoned argument that addresses a specific purpose and audience. Here are our lesson targets, our learning targets for this lesson. Can you define the word home and understand the way home relates to the American dream? Can you locate central ideas from a visual text? For this lesson, you will need the reading response journal posted in this lesson, the video clip, The Rise of Suburban Areas During the 1950s, and the culminating task tool, also posted with this lesson. Now we're going to build background. You're going to answer the following question in your reading response journal. What is home to you? Then you will access the home e-collage assignment post and read over the assignment page. You will then access the slide and begin working on your collage. As you're completing this activity, I want you to consider the following. What are the three, what are the different types of homes someone could have? Where do you feel most at home? Think about the movie Wizard of Oz with Dorothy. What does she repeat as she taps her red shoes? Why might she repeat this? And what does home mean to her? You will have five minutes to begin working on this activity. Here are some quotes about homes from various authors. We're actually going to have several quotes about home, some of which on the following slides. I want you to look over these quotes. I'm going to give you a couple minutes on this slide and a couple minutes on the next slide. And as you look over these quotes, I want you to consider the following. What do you learn about home as you read these quotes? What connections can you make about home through these texts? And how is this similar or different from your answer in your reading response journal? Now here are some more quotes. And some more quotes. Looking back over those quotes, and I am going to post this 
slideshow in your uh, post for this lesson. I want you to think about how other people define what home is and how is this similar or different to your definition of home. I'm going to give you about six minutes to think about your responses and also try to incorporate that into your collage. Now you're going to prepare to view the rise of suburban areas during the 1950s by writing your response to the questions in your reading response journal. Then you will answer the questions in Nearpod. The questions that you'll be answering are, what is the American dream? And how is home ownership such a central part to this dream? As you answer these questions, I want you to think about the following. What do you think most American people want to accomplish before they die? How is this dream connected to wealth? Why would many people consider home ownership better than renting? What does owning a home say about a person? So first you're going to write your response in your reading response journal and then you will answer it in Nearpod. You have five minutes to write it in your reading response journal and then another two to type, retype your answer in Nearpod. 